And welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy, and yes, today we are checking out Forza Motorsport 8. This is the sort of introduction uh, for the game. Uh, there's usually a voiceover. I've turned it off just so I can do this intro. Uh, we'll just wait for the uh, like introduction to finish because I believe there is like a, an introductory uh, like race. Here we go. Maple Valley is the perfect track to put the new Corvette E-Ray uh, through its paces, but not in a race. It's not a race, but you won't be alone. Okay, so we have got like a, a bogey, I guess. All right, here we go. Oh, we're starting. Oh, I have control. I'm going to go into third person. Oh, let's get it slowed down. Oh, we're a little bit off the track. I am steering fully. Whoa, a little bit on the grass. I have got uh, manual gear changes on, uh, the same as on Horizon 5 uh, when I'm doing the rally series. We'll lock it down to third. Undercut the Supra. Oh, yes, there we go. That is what we were looking for. Up into fourth. Maple Valley was actually one of my favorite tracks. The last motorsport game that I played was Motorsport 4. Uh, we're now on Motorsport 8, so it has been a while. Uh, what's this car? I don't know. I don't actually recognise what car that was. Uh, so yeah, I do know the Maple Valley track sort of well. Uh, what have we got here? Porsche Boxer. Let's get past this thing. Can we outbreak it? Oh, we didn't really need to break there. All right, and then we're on to the straight. The straight is not very long on Maple Valley, if I remember. Oh, we only do one lap anyway. So there we go. That is the first lap of Forza Motorsport 8 in the new Corvette E-Ray. Um, we're going to be starting the Let's Play uh, career mode today. Uh, this is a series that I'm going to be continuing over the next like months and probably years that the game is out we're just going to try and progress as much through the game as possible uh oh there are oh, yes this time we get to drive the cadillac um i don't actually know the name of it i just know it's the new cadillac uh, but it is an absolute beast yeah there it is look cadillac what a machine it is it's a nice looking car that i have to say and uh yeah hybrid as well electric up to i think 30 miles an hour and then oh there we go i have control okay i have never raced on this track before it grips much much better than the corvette uh well swatting is to change camera i'm not gonna do that because uh i'm more comfortable in third person than in first person like in the cockpit view we are overtaking literally everything. Let's go past the Aston. There we go. Lovely. Up into sick gear. This is quite a nice track, actually. I uh, can't remember what it said it was called now. Somewhere in Japan. Oh, past the Porsche Mission R. Oh, there was a little bit of contact there. I'm not going to lie. Yes, we passed the electric Porsche. Down the start finish straight here. Can we overtake? The Radical, yes we can. Lovely stuff. A coast into the first corner. Oh, come on. There was a little bit of contact there. Uh, yes, I have bought the premium edition of Motorsport 8. And there we go, across the line. So we're going to have loads of awesome cars to explore. The um, premium edition, it is slightly more expensive but it gives you a lot of exclusive cars not available in the base game. Um, it gives you a little bit of a head start as well. It gives you like 500 credits um, and a few like car upgrade points and stuff. I haven't actually checked out the game. So what you're seeing now is my first reactions. Okay, here we go. Let's gear up for your new racing career. Oh, okay. So we actually get to choose our like avatar, our driver customization. So I'm guessing this is like a male and then we've got female. Uh, we'll just go with a guy, I guess. 
Um, okay, we can actually choose our like racing suit. That's pretty cool. There's this one, but I don't really like the helmet. The red with the green doesn't really work for me. Um, I don't know whether we can change the helmet. I quite like this one. We'll go with this. Okay, we've got our suit. Oh, we've got another achievement. Express yourself. Mm. Always important to do that. Oh, here we go. I think we get to choose our first car. I see something old in the back. I think it's like a Challenger or maybe... Um, oh, the Datsun. Oh, yes. What a beast. Oh, the uh, 190E. Lovely. Oh, oh, a demon. I do like a good demon. Nah. Not a fan of the golfs. <laughs> Every car was ooh and ah, and then we got to a golf and it was just no. Oh, the new Supra and the new GT. Now we've got the old Supra, the Mark IV. Lovely, lovely. Your car, your car's journey begins here. To become a Builders' Cup champion, you'll need to outsmart, outsmart and outbuild your opponents before battling out wheel-to-wheel -wheel on race day. So, ooh, Lewis would like that. The new Subaru there. Um, so I think this is where we get to pick our new car, hopefully. So what have we got there? We've got the Honda Civic Type R. We've got the Subaru STI. And we've got a Mustang, uh, Ford Mustang GT. Uh, I'll be honest, not really a fan of any of these cars. The new Civic, uh, the, the very latest one, like the 2022-2023 Civic, is really nice. This model of Civic is absolutely horrible. I really dislike that, so I'm not going with that. Um, Lewis would kill me for not taking the Subaru uh, 29 STI, um, but I am a muscle car guy myself. I like muscle, so we're going to go with the GT, Ford GT. It has to be. The original pony car and American icon. The GT model is both a beauty and beast, channeling V8 power through its rear tires for impressive lap times. Higher values make AI opponents achieve faster lap times through precise gas braking and cornering. Place first, second, or third to collect bonus. I kind of want to go with the sport rules because it's more realistic, but I think from a video perspective, club rules might be better. It might be better driving. Uh, we'll go with sport rules. I like a challenge. Um, so here we go. Uh, oh, you can change these anyway, so that's good. All right, here we go. Grand Oak Raceway Club Circuit. Okay, here we go. Oh, is this like our headquarters, maybe? Oh, okay. So we can start a practice if we want to have a go in the Mustang just as it is. Uh, we can do an event. We can do car. Um... We can, excuse me, we can change our difficulty. We got settings. All right, let's go to car. Uh, tune car. Custom tuning. Okay, you can tune virtually every aspect of your car setup, including tire pressures and downforce, gear ratios and differential, suspension, steering, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you'll unlock more parts. Sorry, higher level upgrade parts unlock more tuning. Yes, yeah, so we know all of this uh, from playing previous Forza games, uh, whether that's Horizon or uh, Motorsport. Fuel and tyre. Oh, so we can actually choose how much fuel that we want in the car. So, okay, <laughs> that is quite cool. That is a new um, thing. Well, it might not be. It might have been in previous Horizon uh, sorry, Motorsport games. But I haven't played since Motorsport 4. And it wasn't in that game. That I can remember anyway. Um, so yes, obviously um, you want less fuel in your car. Because then your car is lighter. But then there's a risk of running out. Builder's Cup intro 1 of 3. This is just like practice stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start practice. There, oh, there we go. There's our driver. That's us. That's me in that suit. And that's our Mustang. <laughs> I really wish it was. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're going to have other like muscle cars on the, on the track. I saw, I think it was a Challenger in the background there. 
So we're getting, I think, is it three practice laps? Oh, here we go. Okay. I have control over the Mustang. Oh, it has a lot of understeer. Oh dear, that was not nice. Uh, tells us how much fuel that we have. Oh dear, oh well, way off the track there. That was absolutely horrendous. I apologize if I go quiet whilst I'm doing the races. I am just trying to concentrate a little bit. Oh, this corner here is just horrible. It has so much understeer, this Mustang. I really need to tune the, the camber a little bit so it turns in a bit better. All right, this is the corner where we went off. That was much better. Oh, that was lovely through there. Oh, we're a little bit up too much on the apex there. And we're way out wide on the... Okay, we're off the track again. No penalty. We did hit the rev limiter a little bit. All right, we're required to complete three laps. Uh, so there we go. We have now done three laps. We now have to do a lap time in less than one minute and seven. Our best was one minute seven, seven one six. Okay, so we should be able to do that. Right, come on, come on, come on, and across the line. Okay, we have sort of completed what we need to for the practice that was a great practice session <laughs> it really wasn't that was really not a good practice session we were off the track for most of it but uh anyway yes we have a little uh we had a little practice there let's see what we're doing next if we come in a top three if we get on the podium i will be happy it seems to be all little hatchbacks and then there's just me in a mustang oh no there is a challenger we got a Cadillac there. Oh, there is a Camaro as well. Okay. Oh, we can actually have a look at the drivers and what they're driving. So we've got uh, the Civic. Um, we've got a guy in a Focus RS. We've got another Mustang. Okay, so this guy in the red Mustang is going to be like the one to beat for us. I'm going to say that. If we beat him, I'll be happy. Right, we don't want full power off the line. So that's going to cause us to wheel spin. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> we are underway. It's going to get very, very busy. Okay, we're coming into the first corner. We're not going to break. We're just going to lift off. Uh, oh, it is a four-lap race, so we have got enough fuel. That is good to know. Tires do seem to be sticking, so I think they're still warm from the practice session. We're up the side of the Astra. Oh, there was a, a light bit of contact, but, you know, I think we can get away with that. There was no collision penalty. That's good. We can actually... Okay, maybe we can't be quite flat. We do actually need to have a little bit of a lift coming into that first corner. Ooh. We'll have a lift coming into that corner. Sorry, I meant the final corner. We need a lift coming into the first corner as well. We are third out of 24, so we're not doing bad. I don't know what cars we have in front of us. I can't see them. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. That really wasn't very good. Okay, come on Mustang. Oh, we've been rear-ended by a Clio. <laughs> Right, if we turn in early through here. Oh, we actually kept it on the track there this time. We're not, I don't think, going to be able to catch the cars in front of us. Oh dear, we're taking it too fast. Again, we're off into the grass. Same thing. Don't let anybody come past. Where's that Clio? Oh dear, the Clio has come past us. This is a shocking performance from me. Okay. We at least need to get past the Clio again. Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah, I think there was a slight... Yeah. Yeah, I think that is worthy of a penalty. We basically punted the Clio completely off the course. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, little Clio. That was my bad. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, here we go. 
Come on. That was uh, a shocking uh, race from me there. What did we... Okay, our best lap was a 1-7, which is what we were actually doing in practice. So, you know, uh, we beat all the other muscle cars, which is sort of what I wanted to do. What actually did the other Mustang do? Um, the other Mustang did a 1-6. So it was slightly faster than us in lap times, but eh, that wasn't bad for our first race. I think that was pretty good, to be honest. Okay. This is the uh, Mugello circuit. I have heard of this circuit. I think it's in Italy. I think the uh, <laughs> the red, the red, uh, white, and green did give me uh, a little indication there. But I think I did already know that it was in uh, Italy. Right. So this is practice. Okay. So we need to do three laps. Oops. And we need to do a lap in under one minute eight. I'm going to be early on the brakes only because this thing doesn't have any grip to get around the corner. We've got to really, really slow it down. Okay, knock it down second and then boot it down the start finish straight. We can be like flat down here. There's a slight curve in the start finish straight, which is uh, unusual. Uh, I don't think that practice went as well as for the previous race, to be honest. Um, but, you know, let's see how we do in the race. Our second race. Here we go. Let's just go straight to the race. We're not going to bother with any tuning or anything. Um, hopefully we've got enough fuel. Um, I see some of the same cars. That is the clear <laughs> that we punted off has returned for another bite of the cherry so let's see let's just go straight to the race just going to boot it off the line the traction control will take care of the wheel spin oh mercedes why did you do that i think it was actually a bmw but it came right in front of us and then brake checked us that's lovely okay we want to be early on the brakes through here just like everybody else There's the Camaro. I'd like to beat the Camaro because that is in a similar, like, sort of league to us. Similar kind of car. It's a rear wheel drive V8 muscle car. Oh, there was a slight bit of collision there. Why does the BMW keep doing that? We keep getting brake checked by a BMW. Stupid man. Get out of my way. Whoa! Everybody's having a little bit of a break down there. We're having, we got sort of cut off a little bit. Okay, yeah. Illegal pass. Well, that wasn't really our fault. We got pushed out wide. There was nothing we could really do about it. But we are in a fourth position. In front of us is a Challenger, which is sort of our group as well. It's another rear-wheel drive V8 muscle car. Let's see if we can do something about it. Oh, we're a little bit on the sand there. That is going to cost us a bit of speed and a bit of time. I need the speed through there, but the traction control is just taking it away from us. So I might have to turn that off if it gets annoying. We've up, we've leveled up our car, which is great. Okay, what can we do down here? Nothing, I don't think. Unless the Challenger gets into traffic or has a big off which is possible driver tires do make mistakes as well i don't think there's anything we can really do about it so it would seem the further you go off the track which i don't know if this is true in real racing but the if you go off sort of on the apex a little bit that's okay but if you go right onto the sand you will get a penalty so our best lap was a 1.8 which is sort of what we were doing in practice we couldn't beat the Challenger. Oh, the other Mustang beat us. Okay. We've actually got more PI than the other Mustang, so theoretically we should be better. But yes, there we go. Um, let's continue. I think we've got one more uh, 
sort of race to go in the Builders Cup thing. All right, here we go, Mustang. Ooh, that was a horrible corner to like throw us into there. Right, we're coming down the start finish straight. Oh, this is that horrible hairpin. Okay, turn it in. The tires are squealing away. Oh, the uh, MG X Power has made contact and it has decided that it is coming through. But we are not going to let that happen. We absolutely obliterate it down the straight. I think the Mustang will have, I'm guessing, about 400 horsepower and the. X power, I think they have about 280, 300, something like that. So we will have much, much more horsepower than it, but it probably has a lot better control. All right, there we go. We finished the race. I'm going to go ahead and turn the traction control off because it's really, really pissing me off. Uh, and then we're going to go into the race. Traction control, you can have it on. We can have it on Sport. Sport is sort of slightly more slip, um, as you can see on the side, or disabled, um, completely turn it off, which is what we want. So we're going to go with that. We're going to hit save. We're going to go to race. Now, this is either going to absolutely kill us, now that I've turned the traction control off, or it's going to be slightly better. Oh, it's night time as well. Okay. Right, here we go. Hopefully we might be a little bit faster out of the corners now. We got flameage. That is awesome. We're right up the duff of the Subaru. Yes, we get out of the corner much, much better there. I could already feel the difference with no traction control. We have so much more power getting around the corners oh this is so much better okay we're up into fifth place right oh we're going to rear end the black wing sorry cadillac but you were in my way we have no time for you okay we're in a third position okay we are getting a slight penalty for contact but that is okay that Nissan is right on our heels. It has closed since the last lap. So this is the final lap. We might have to do a little bit defending now. Depends what that Nissan... Okay, we are faster than it down the straights. But I think it is better in the corners. We're going to have a big dive on the brakes down here. That was much, much better through there. The Nissan didn't manage to make any uh, distance on us. We might be able to close in on the Clio, but I don't think we're going to have enough time to overtake it. That was lovely through there. That Nissan has fallen back quite a lot, so that is good news. We actually have gained a little bit on that Clio. We're not going to have enough time to overtake it. But I am happy how the Mustang is performing now. Whoa, we had a big slide coming out of there. And there we go, that is going to be a podium position for our final race of the day. Third position at the Kalami, I think that's how you say it, Kayalami, Kay I can't say it. I think it's Kayalami uh, Grand Prix Circuit. Three laps over 24 drivers and we came third. So that is pretty impressive for our third race there we go we're on the podium actually it was a challenger that came first and the Clio that we may or may not have murdered in I think it was in the first race there we go we're definitely definitely improving and we will have got a big bonus for coming third as well so there we go but yes that is sort of an introduction to Forza Motorsport 8 we've done a couple of races we did a little bit of car building I want to get into more of that in hopefully in the next episode maybe try and paint the Mustang because I'm not a fan of this yellow color it looks a bit weird um, but hopefully you have enjoyed there's going to be more of these episodes every week so please tune in next week for that and don't forget the Horizon 5 Rally series on Saturday as well that is still going to be taking place but thank you all so much for watching i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you next time